And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. David Montgomery taking it in as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people are thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything done. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field. And his throw intercepted by the all-pro corner, Kyle Fuller. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, hey. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. This one into the hands of Burton. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. There is no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no, okay. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 21. Call. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Gall. Dumps it off to Gurley. Give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Goff now looking to throw. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Akeem Hicks at 6'5", 332, finds his way home for the sack. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Now Goff. And that is incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw that happen twice. The team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now is dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question, what game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. On second down. It's Cohen, and he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. The Bears on third down, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and five, and he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. 
A bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. On first down, Cohen. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.